Hello, we're going to be doing this oracle. Welcome to my channel. This reading is about you, them, and the third party, and this can be yours if your Sun, Moon, Rising sign, or Venus is in Virgo. So let's start with your energy. Then we are looking at your person, and then your love interest, and their third party, I mean like their person, which is your third party. Okay. It's also possible that you have someone, so it can be like a fourth party situation, but let's just simplify this. So what's happening between you and the person? You have Osiris, god of transformation, and they have Kuanian, goddess of nurturing. So it's like a an inner masculine and an inner feminine uh, matching, coming together, uh, creating a whole. Your person is um, very giving at this time. And you could be going through some very tough times. Um, maybe in work, maybe this love is giving you uh, very hard times, but you are rebirthing yourself uh, from something and your person seems to be very nurturing and understanding towards you. Now, your love interest and the third party. Your love interest energy is the miscommunication and the third party is coming with this energy healing kind of energy. So your uh, love interest is... Um, struggling with the third party. They are not on the same page. And um, I feel that your love interest is um, wishing that they can just be with you, but they have to deal with the third party instead. And uh, it is also possible that the third party needs healing. Uh, they uh, could be ill, mentally ill, physically ill. Uh, something is um, not quite right with them. Okay, so let's see a little bit more about these energies. So what is happening with your love interest towards you? So what your love interest is thinking about you at this time? And what they are thinking about the connection? So they are thinking nine of ones. So they want to stick around, they want to make progress with you, and there is the Six of Cups. So it's about um, getting um, on very well. Uh, maybe you know this person for a long time, and uh, you two are uh, reminiscing about good times from the past. Is your person disappointed towards you in some way? We've got the Knight of Swords. Um, if they are disappointed with anything, is that they really want to make progress with you very fast. And maybe you are very much grounded or too focused on your own transformation at this time. And uh, maybe you are not very receptive uh, to their request. And it's also possible that you are aware that... Um, they are in a third party situation, so you are not wanting to rush into anything. Now let's see how your love interest is towards the third party. So what they think about the third party, what they think about the connection, and why they are disappointed. So the third party, uh, what they are thinking, they are the king of wands. So... Um, they believe that the third party might want to take control of the situation and uh, they don't like that. Your love interest likes to be the leader and they want to be in charge. Now, what they think about the connection with the third party is the Knight of Pentacles, that um, it's something they can't just leave behind very easily. And uh, the reason why they could be disappointed with the third party is because um, 
there is this page of pentacles energy the third party wants to make things right between the two of them um so i feel that your person is trying to pull away from them towards you but the third party doesn't like this idea okay so let's see more about this third party energy we've got the seven of swords reversed so getting caught out um it's possible that the third party realizes that your love interest uh, has not um, focused uh, on the third party fully and the third party hopes that things are going to get better and we've got the four of cups which is about um, contemplating uh, third party is trying to make sense of things they feel a little bit pushed into the background not really cared for and uh, yeah i feel that things are not very rosy between your person and the third party okay so let's find out about this um, energy of the knight of swords which is very fast what your person wants with you they definitely don't want to walk away from you and um, they want to stay in this connection with you in spite of the fact that they know uh, morally it's not very fantastic and we've got the ten of swords reversed and the ace of wands so uh, they are trying to um, get out of a painful situation and uh, have this passionate um, new beginning with you so um, just be a little bit careful that your person is running to you to have things in a way that they want uh, but uh, they I'm, I'm not sure whether they want to leave the third party behind and of course, it's depending on you, what you want and how you want things. Uh, yeah, there is anxiety, depression on your person's side and the Ace of Cups. They want uh, this love connection with you, this new beginning in love. And uh, there is the Ace of Swords. They want uh, to see clearly uh, where they are heading. Okay, so what is your person's intention right now? towards you we've got the seven of cups they are deciding we've got the queen of cups reversed and the two of cups at the bottom so they might have a cloudy judgment they could be overly sensitive at this time but they know with you there is a, a mutual love connection so i believe they are trying to fight for this one and yes, they want to succeed with you. Six of Wands, Knight of Wands, and the Page of Wands. So this passionate new beginning is definitely there. It's uh, coming if you are in a separation, no contact situation. And um, they definitely want to make it a success with you. What is their intention towards the third party? We've got the King of Swords and the Devil with the Tower at the bottom. So... It, if this reading resonates with you, Virgo, it's possible that your person is going through some kind of breakup or separation with the third party. The devil here is not the best thing. Um, it's about um, maybe fears of the unknown and uh, they are trying to make some plan towards that situation so things are not going to slip out of their hands because this tower is coming in very fast and uh, they could be a bit um, scared of this happening let's see who you could be dealing with so far we have Sagittarius Aries Capricorn yeah pretty much it so 
let's look into this third party what the third party intention is we've got the queen of wands the nine of pentacles and the high priestess reverts so they do know maybe they don't know you or they don't know of you but they know there is someone else in this situation and um, that's the reason why um, they are disconnecting your third your love interest is disconnecting from the third party and uh, the third party is um, like if it is a divorce they should be fine because they know that financially they cannot lose here so you could be also dealing with the cancer wow right to sum it up virgo it looks like your person is very keen to come towards you there are lots of issues with the third party between the two of them and uh, it looks like that uh, they are having very strong arguments and it might lead to a breakup or a separation or both and the third party is kind of like well whatever so this energy here is interesting it's a number five energy which is uh, change give me more about this third party please we've got the eight of pentacles reversed so they are not focusing on um, working through issues with your person anymore they would be happy if it was sorted but um they are just waiting waiting and seeing uh, what is happening here because they believe that uh, it's a lost battle if they um, go against your person they can just create more distance between them and so the third party is like okay i'm i'm going to see where it goes and now the question is virgo what is it on your side what do you want to happen because maybe your wishes are going to come true so in the extended we are going to look into what else um, we need to know you need to know about this situation and whatever spirit wants to highlight for you thank you so much for being here liking sharing subscribing and commenting do download the um, red and green flags uh, free pdf if you like uh, about how to create a happy relationship or realize whether you are in one or not and um, visit my website spiritual-wonders.com i look forward to seeing you soon take care bye for now